So, what is EasyCarve? It's an easy to use browser application that helps you to cut 3D content on your CNC, that runs on a PC, a tablet, and on a Mac. Because it's powered by Design & Make, you get access to thousands of CNC-ready 3D models. And now with our new exclusive content that we're calling Backgrounds, you have even more possibilities for your first EasyCarve project. So how does EasyCarve work? Well, let me show you. First of all, you need to log in. If you already have a Vectric account, you can use those same credentials to log into EasyCarve. And if you don't, it only takes a few seconds to sign up for a free trial account. Once you're logged in, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is to start a new project. You can choose to start with a background or a single model. If you choose to go down the road of a single model, you can always add a background in later if you'd like. Let's start with a background, and we're gonna choose the one that comes free with your trial experience. As soon as it loads in, you'll notice a dotted square, and that's what we call a region. You can place any other single model with inside that region. Once you're happy, let's move into the next step, which is sizing up your model. Note the red warning here. That just indicates that our model is now thicker than the material that we have, but we can fix that in the next step. We can flip or rotate your model to better fit into your material. Now let's choose the material you're gonna cut your project into. We can choose from one of the default materials, hardwood, medium wood, or softwood, but don't forget in the future, you can go ahead and add in your own custom materials if you'd like. For now, we'll just choose hardwood. Here we can fix the material thickness, so be sure to take an accurate measurement. If we still have the red warning, then we may need to go back and adjust the model size or pick a different piece of material. In this step, we can go ahead and tell EasyCarve where to place our model with inside of our material. Sometimes it's nice to leave a little bit of material on the back so you can thicken up the thin spots of your project. And this is where you can tell EasyCarve what your setup on your CNC will look like. We're gonna tell it where our X, Y start position is and where we'll be zeroing your tool, either off the material surface or off the machine bit. Now let's choose what CNC machine you have. You can choose from our vast library of CNCs that we support. Now let's generate some tool paths. If you intend on using a cutout pass, then it's a good idea to add in tabs. Tabs not only will hold your part securely with inside your material block, but will eliminate the need for extra hold downs. Now we need to choose what tool paths that we would like to calculate. We have the choice of making a roughing pass, a finishing pass, or a cutout pass. In this case, we're gonna use all three, but you need to choose the ones that you need to cut your job. Let's start off by creating a roughing tool path. I'm gonna to choose this tool, but if the tool that you need isn't listed, you can go ahead and add your own. Let's click calculate. For our next toolpath, we're gonna to make a finishing toolpath. What's nice about EasyCarve is what you see on screen is exactly what should cut on your CNC machine. For our last toolpath, we're gonna to create a cutout toolpath. Now, once we're happy with everything that we see on screen, let's save off our toolpaths and bring them over to our CNC machine and get them cutting. It's that easy. If you're new to 3D carving and would like to have access to all of EasyCarve's content, exclusive features, and monthly editions, if so, why not subscribe to EasyCarve and add more possibilities to your CNC projects?